politics bore me. Let's not bring it up at all.
Good morning. It's the Monday morning cup of coffee. I'm your host, Tommy Womack. Let's have a sip of Joe together, shall we? Ooh, my cup's still nice and hot, even after that song. Raise them up. As they say in Wales, schlange. I hope you're doing well um, in and amongst the pandemic. I'm going to show my shirt off there. Lisa Oliver Gray got me this, either for my birthday or Christmas. I don't remember which one it was. Um, I got some suggestions for your literary bucket list. Since we have all this time on our hands and uh, not much to do, except make funny videos with your whole family, or, uh, I don't know, garden or something. Anyway, well, I've been trying to read some. And what I do is I read a bit of one book, and then I'll pick up another book and read a bit of it, and then go back to the first book and, um, and get very confused. No, really, I don't. Uh, this is what I'm reading right now. You can see where the bookmark is. I'm not even halfway through it, and I've been working on it for two weeks. Chappaquiddick. The Ted Kennedy scandal when he drove off a bridge and killed a girl and uh, got away with it. Um, also, now dig this one. Is that a tome or what? Grant by Ron Chernow. It's, it's great. It's really great. I'm up to the point now. Um, um, he is being suggested for president, you know, to run for president. Lincoln's already assassinated. And, uh, and he's a very prominent, well-respected man in the country. Now, here's a few that I have already read, and uh, I can recommend them. Trouble Boys, The Story of the Replacements, one of the best rock and roll biographies ever written. It is tremendous. Um, two from Patti Smith two of her books, M Train and the one that came before that, Just Kids. And uh, Just Kids is about when she moved from New Jersey to Manhattan with her good friend Robert Mapplethorpe, who was an artist, uh, a visual artist primarily, and Patty became the poet and rock goddess that she is. And M Train um, is, is more of a... Um, essays I guess you'd say and um, um, and it concerns a lot about uh, her husband Fred Sonic Smith who was in the uh, um, MC5 and uh, was Patty Smith's sister okay I'm kidding I'm kidding all right um, this one I like too the replacements in oral history and one thing I like about it is uh, that they published my song lyrics for the replacements in it. I didn't get paid for it, but I didn't ask to get paid. Um, here's one I recommend heartily. Charles Bukowski, Notes from a Dirty Old Man. Bukowski could write his ass off. He was funny, he was touching, he was uh, a drinker. Um, you probably already know that. Um, Brian Jones, The Making of the Rolling Stones. Very good book, well-researched, and it debunks some myths about Brian Jones. Guilty Pleasure, Mafia Books, Murder Machine. It's uh, written by Jerry Capici and Gene Mustaine, who know about as much about the mob as anybody does. And I have a real closet interest in the mafia. And this is the story of Roy DeMeo and his crew, Roy was a captain in the Gambino crime family, and he and his crew were used for murders. It is estimated they killed over 200 people in a 10-year reign at their social club in Brooklyn, the Gemini Bar. Uh, it wasn't a social club, it was a bar. Anybody could walk in off the street and have a drink, but um, there were a bunch of psychos, psycho gangsters and associate gangsters that... Um, just, uh, it is said that if they didn't kill one person every week, they got depressed. 
Now, I heartily recommend this one, Zealot, The Life and Times of Jesus of Nazareth by Reza Aslan. And uh, I've read probably eight or nine historical Jesus biographies. Maybe not that many, six or seven maybe. Um, Because I'm so intrigued about who the real guy was, you know. Uh, People don't realize the Gospels were not meant as historical documents. Um, That almost didn't matter at all to the first century Hebrew or Greek. You know, it it was all myths. That's all they read was myths. And it's very hard for the 21st century mind to wrap its brain around. Um, They didn't care whether something was historical or not. It was, um, it was different from that. Okay, now here's some that are on my bucket list. Uh, the Complete Works of Arthur Rambeau. Uh, he, was, um, he was a brilliant poet, so I'm told. Uh, I've looked at it a bit. I, I, real, I don't know if I get that stuff. Um, and another one on my bucket list, I've had this book for a while, Zen Guitar. Dan Seymour gave me this, and he said it really helped his musicianship. Speaking of music, Steve Gorman's Hard to Handle, the story of the Black Crows. Um, and uh, I'm looking forward to getting into this. Now, I met this lady at a retreat last October, I think it was, uh, when Bill Bradley... Um, took me and Marshall Chapman with him to be the entertainment at a uh, retreat in Wyoming. And Mary Carr was one of the uh, uh, people there. She's a well-respected author, Mary Carr, The Liars Club. So, um, and Steve Gorman of The Crows, formerly of The Crows, told me it's a tremendous book. They've Killed Papa Dead uh, by Anthony Pitch. It's the story of the Lincoln assassination with quite a bit of new research done. It's, it's, uh, I've looked at it. It's pretty good. Now this, I'm really going to enjoy. I know I will. Um, it's brand new. Up Jump the Devil, the story of Robert Johnson. And who wrote that? Bruce Conforth and Gail Dean Wardlow. Uh, they have done a tremendous ar- amount of research They have unearthed a third photograph of Robert Johnson, which was not known to exist. And um, and so that's everything on my... uh, Oh, oh, I forgot some here. Uh, Let me get some more out here. Just a second. Here's a couple more on my bucket list right here. Leadership by Doris Kearns Goodwin. I love her. She she writes so well. And Marr, the story of Johnny Marr. So, uh, and uh, there's no ghost writer um, credited. So I guess Johnny wrote it all himself. Uh, I've read a few pages. It looks pretty good. I'm an Anglophile. I like stories of people growing up in England. And so, so there you go. That's what I'm... Uh, and I'm not as literate as this, what this makes me look like. Um, and I don't read as much as you might think I do. I read uh, in the afternoon a bit and then in the evening before I go to bed. I've started eschewing television after about an hour in the evening because, uh, you know, the news is so depressing a lot of the time. Uh, I was a news junkie for years and I've kind of backed away from it so I go back in the bedroom and I curl my pillow so I can lean back and I read until I get drowsy which doesn't take long for me but uh, but I do read and I'm looking forward to reading uh, Doris Kearns Goodwin and Johnny Marr and the Lincoln assassination book the Mary Carr book uh, Liars Club and especially I can't I can't say this enough That's going to be fun. If you've never heard any Robert Johnson, you are missing out. The king of the Delta Blues singers, murdered at the age of 27 in 1938, I think it was. Um, Well, 
Um, I'm going to be playing at the Exit Inn July 17th, a uh, live stream. So I'm looking forward to that. I haven't been on the Exit Well, yes, I have been on the Exit Inn stage recently. I did do a benefit there, Save the Rock Block. Because the rock block where the exit in is and where uh, the end is and where the gold rush was, um, the wrecking ball is headed that way and we're trying to get the rock block, which is part of Elliston Place, the street, trying to get that saved from the wrecking ball. And uh, I don't know, you can't fight City Hall, but I hope something comes of it. And uh, let's see, I'll be doing a live Facebook Live tomorrow evening at 7.30 Central Time. So drop on by, come on out to see me, and uh, or come on in to see me, wherever your computer is. That's Facebook Live with me, uh, playing my tunes at 7.30 p.m. Central Daylight Time, uh, tomorrow night, 7.30 and uh seems like there was something else i was going to tell you oh that first song i played uh pay it forward that's going to be the first track on my new record which is called eke homo which is latin for behold the man behold the man um and i don't know when it's going to come out it'll come out when it comes out i don't want to release it in the middle of a pandemic because i don't know uh if it would be noticed uh, a lot of my records don't get noticed anyway. But anyway, that's that. Uh, God bless you. Don't let the bastards get you down. Have a good week. Read a book or uh, take a walk around the block. Wear your mask. And uh, Black Lives Matter. God bless you. I'll see you next week. Bore me, let's not bring it up at all. 